Oracle of Gaia. I'm the Oracle. My mother died before she could explain the riddle of my life. Your father is the king of Athens. You carry the sacred lexicon inside of you. The lexicon is a riddle indeed, but you will eventually unravel its mysteries. And when you do, our enemies will be swept away. What does it do? It leads to the doors of Olympus. <laughs> within range of enemy fire. We have averted an assassination attempt on the king. But who will command the king's armies now? His son, Lycos. Submit, son of Aegeus, or your friend dies. with a line of yellow diamonds running down its spine. The serpent is coiled around the waist of a maiden with long plaited hair. They are dancing in a circle. A blind prophet watches the dance. He wears a crown of white flowers. In one hand, he holds a scythe. In the other, an olive branch. A ring? They dance to the speed of time. <laughs> the ring of the Magi. Where is the ring? I don't see a ring. The five maidens are your five fingers, and the serpent is the sacred ring. You know where it is. No. What sort of beast? better chance than you if you let me do it my way. If you fail, I'll kill you. Your needle might kill him. My mouth will only leave him spent.
my brother. Another of your plays, Lycos. Don't I look like the real thing to you, Mother? Take it off. Would you have me lead the King's armies in a tunic? That'd be ridiculous. I didn't put you in charge so you could lead. I feel ready, and I'm full of ideas. It's very funny. Now listen carefully. You will attend each and every strategy meeting. But if you so much as open your mouth, I'll send you to Priest Xerxes for another of his purges. I'll lose the respect of my generals. You can't lose something you don't have. Your job is to watch and listen and report back to me. Come here. Remember, we're a team, you and I. We rely on each other. Make me proud, Lycos. And when we solve the riddle of the lexicon, your day will come. I promise. We must move the Abyssinian archers to bolster the west wall. Won't that leave the east wall too exposed? The east wall is taller. But if King Minos' foot soldiers surprise us with another night attack, moving across no man's land like silent snakes that'll have time to climb before they're seen. We'll need to take that risk. Our king's impetuous tactics have left the West Wall vulnerable, and him on a sickbed. It's time to change our course. Please, General Proteus, show a little sensitivity. This is war, Lord Pallas. I have no time for milk teeth and mealy-mouthed mandarins. My men are dying in droves. What is your view, Prince Lycos? As Commander-in-Chief, this is technically your decision. You're not seriously suggesting that we listen to a boy. Lycos? We're wasting time. General Priam, move the Abyssinian archers to the West Wall before nightfall. No. I mean, yes. <laughs> The prince has his father's tactical flair. What I meant was, move them as you suggest. In broad daylight so that the enemy scouts see. But then quietly replace them with the regiment from Thebes. What a nonsense. The regiment from Thebes is in no condition to face the enemy. Oh, they'll be quite safe. The enemy won't attack the west wall, seeing it guarded by Abyssinian archers. But the men of Thebes look nothing like Abyssinians. Have them swap armor. Subterfuge. From a distance, they will look the same. But we will offend Apollo, god of light and truth. And earn the respect of Ares, god of war. When the enemy climbs the east wall at night, believing it's unguarded, the real Abyssinian archers will be waiting for them. Enough! This is war, not theater. It worked in the Elysian campaign. Thrace camouflaged its men and won. That's ancient history. But it might just work. Are you suggesting... Yes. As you said, General, it's time to change course. Out of my way! I am your king! How dare you! I am... Perfectly all right. Can you tell these idiots to leave me alone? It's wonderful to see you out of bed, dearest. But you shouldn't push yourself too hard. I am the king of Athens. I walk in step with the gods. I don't know a man alive as strong as powerful as you, dear heart. I still catch my breath at the sight of you standing tall. 
Most men would curl up and die from your wound. But you shrug it off as if it were a scratch. Call my generals together. I have fresh plans for a bold counterattack. How exciting. What sort of plans? Tomorrow, we throw open the gates of Athens and charge the enemy. I see. But aren't Minus's troops well entrenched? If we die, we die like Athenians, with fire in our hearts. And what becomes of your family, dearest? No more cowering behind the walls of Athens. Every last man fights to the death. What's this? A tonic. I don't need tonics. Fighting fit, ready for anything. Your armor, dearest. You can't face your generals looking like that. Here, let me help you. The sight of a little royal blood might stir their hearts. Or fill them with fear. You know how they look up to you. Dogs! I'm sorry. It's too tight. Let me take it off. Perhaps a little tonic will help after all. Let's get you back on your feet. An army of satyrs gathers at the gates. Hermes, a messenger, speaks in whispers. If we hurry, we might reach the foothills of Breva by nightfall. And then? North. To Athens, of course. In that case, I'll say goodbye. I'm heading south, back to the Forest of Trozen. Why? It's my home. And when do you plan to seek out your father, the king? What makes you think I have any interest in meeting the king of Athens? Because he's your father. And what about the lexicon? What makes you think I have any interest in the lexicon? Wait, wait, are you serious? Perhaps you don't fully understand. Inside you, if you can only figure it out, lies the power to open the doors to Olympus. And anyone who enters Olympus, home of the gods, becomes a god. So, in short, you, mercenary, have the power to turn mortal men into immortal gods. Really? What do you mean, really? I'm happy as I am. So you think you can just go back to your simple life in the Forest of Trozen and no one will bother you? Yes. And the priests of Gaia, their allies, acolytes and associates, will just leave you alone to hunt and fish and sleep in the sun? I'll take my chances. Well, your mother brought you up in hiding because she knew you'd inherited the lexicon. You leave my mother out of this. And now you're out in the open, you will be hunted down, tortured, bled, starved and generally kept on the very edge of death until you give up the lexicon. And why do you care? Do you want to be a god? No. No, I want to stop the war and save Athens. War? Don't tell me you didn't know that King Minos' armies have Athens surrounded. King Minos? Oh, mercenary, you really have led a sheltered life. So let me get this straight. Even though Athens is in the grip of a bloody war, you want me to march into the king's palace and say, hello, king, you don't know me, but I'm your son. Yes. Well, you're making this very awkward, mercenary. Goodbye, Oracle. I'm not leaving you. You won't like the Forest of Trozen. No, we are not going to the Forest of Trozen.
Are you sure? The visions were very clear. You bled him? Just to see if he was genuine. Once I'd established that, I intended to bring him to you, of course. Of course. But instead, you let him go. And the ring. He appeared not to know about the ring. But you could tell he was lying. Yes. I'm reasonably sure he knew where it was. Reasonably? Perhaps that's your problem, Priest Cyrus. You're too reasonable, grown fat on the sweet juice of my benevolence. <laughs> you need sharpening up. And maybe a little help from the parents. <laughs> Please, Mum. There really is no need to involve the warrior priests. I'm more than capable of finding the mercenary myself. Athena's trail of blood and roses will light your path. In fact, I'm reasonably sure he's headed south. Back to the forests of Drazen. Thankfully, you don't have to be reasonable. You just need to keep step with the cloven hooves of the east wind. Son, Aegeus. Water. I need to drink. Was she fair or dark? Hmm? And why didn't you take her as your queen? I am in no mood for riddles, Medea. You knew my son didn't have the lexicon inside him because you'd already given it up. Why? The lexicon is not just a riddle. It is a curse. An angry, dangerous beast. Coward. I didn't know you then. If I had, I would have trusted you to guide me. But instead, you lied to me. What else could I do? My people look up to me because they believe I was chosen by the gods. What was her name? I don't know. She was a chance encounter. You disgust me. Why? How long have I been asleep? Not long enough. What does that mean? These are troubling times. I need room to maneuver. You? Of the Abbot Seagull. The Seagull. The Seagull. Are you hurt? What's that got to do with it? You were flying. A genius. Who are you? Oh, wait, don't tell me. You must be the offspring of Hermes, god of Quicksilver. 
Let me help you off with that. Touch it and I'll set loose the marauding hordes of Photius. It's an old man. It. What are you? A harpy? No, I'm a woman. No case out of my way. Harpy. I'm not in your way. You made these wings. <laughs> More dazzling brilliance. Indeed I did, son of Hermes. I'm not well enough. Hold this. Apollo, god of light and sun, truth and prophecy, the music of poetry, plague, art, and colonization. And intellectual. Take me, Daedalus. 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 You humble servant. This penance for my son. What? Oh. What do you think you're doing? Let go. Pull him off. It's Daedalus, the inventor. He's a genius! <laughs> we should move on to cover. Minus' men! Quick! Get me out of this! Minus' men? Really? Are you sure? How are our generals? Argumentative, as always. Anything I should know? No. I did as you asked. Watched and listened. We missed our session today. Yes. I'm working on something else. Go to sleep. Dear Prince, it appears that your strategy worked. The timing, location, even the number of men, all exactly as you predicted. General Proteus is both embarrassed and delighted. In fact, he's so delighted that he's taken most of the credit. What? From now on, he's sure to hang on your every word. In case he can come up with more brilliant ideas. together with the son of Aegeus so that he can lead me to the king's door. If that is your wish, why does he fight me so? Please, Holy Mother, help me persuade him to go to Athens. But most of all, give me the strength and the courage to avert your sacred vision. Kill his father.
You must pay tribute to the gods. Apollo, father of light, will deliver you from your pain. Gods. Gods care nothing for us. You cannot carry your grief alone. What do you know of grief? I know that your son wouldn't want you to suffer. You know what this means? You don't. No. Do you expect me to believe that? Where is it? I don't know. Yes, you do. Or you wouldn't be drawing that symbol. A symbol you've seen before. Wait, wait, that's it, isn't it? You've seen it before, but you can't remember where, right? Something like that. You've got the ring of the Magi. No. Yes, you do. What is it? I don't know. Guess. Yes. Oh, what good is that if he doesn't know? He does know. Why is it so important? It belonged to King Aegeus. Actually, he stole it. Exactly. What does it do? No one knows. Then why do you care? Because it's extraordinarily powerful. Mm. But what good is that if you don't know what it does? I, like everyone else on this earth, would like to find out. Where are, you, Where are going? you going? To look for the ring. Where? In the forest of Trozen. Oh, I see. You've had this plan all along, haven't you? You're going to go home and fetch the rings so that your father, King Aegeus, knows who you are when you knock on his door. <laughs> Is father is king of you quiet don't you talk to me like that young lady i'll have you know i can sort with kings it's hidden somewhere isn't it you're not coming with me oracle but, uh, you're an oracle no, we have to stay together why the gods brought us together for a reason how do you know i'm an oracle look daedalus fell out of the sky and into our laps don't you think that's a little odd i mean it's daedalus fate <sighs> But if the ring is in the forest of Trofen, you must take me to it right away. Come on, I'll lead the way. No point in arguing with a woman, son. Now, tell me about your father, the king, and how it is you came here in the forest with only a harpy for company. The Black Dove means we've lost them, doesn't it? All I'm saying is we don't need to deliver the bad news yet. No! Chief should carry a sword worthy of his status. And the prince must always be ready to assume the throne. Sit. There's nobody here but us. Aren't you at least a little curious? There's nothing wrong with seeing what it feels like.
Prince Lycos, the military council of Athens offer you this ritual honor. A sacrifice to celebrate our great victory. It's thanks to the Holy Father Ares, god of war. Strike clean, strike at the heart. What's wrong with him? Did he lose his nerve? No. I don't think that's it. What then? He didn't want to hurt him. On the contrary, I think he wanted to hold him. Are you suggesting that he's heir to the throne? You're an example to us all, Prince Lycos. I do hope I'm not disturbing you. I've brought something which would help your followers greatly. A scribe. To collect your thoughts and ideas as a daily memorandum to those who walk in your shadow. If you approve, he will become a trusted and loyal servant. Eager to please. Whenever. Wherever. Kiss your lord and master. What is your name? Kaiman. Stand, please. Kaiman. What would you like us to work on first, uncle? Uncle. The impossible challenge involved stringing a thread through a conch shell. The, the conch, as I'm certain you're well aware, is a veritable labyrinth of tiny twisting passageways. Completely impregnable, I hear you say. Well, think again. I smeared a little honey around one hole of the shell, and then tied the thread to a carpenter hand and sent it through the other. It was only a matter of time of what. Son of a GS. Where did he go? Very odd. He was just here, spellbound by my account of the cockless challenge. Mercenary! Mercenary!
Medea. I need a company of men, our very best troops, spies too, for a special mission. How many men? Twenty, thirty, trackers too. They might need to split up and search different parts of the forest to the south. Search for what? No one can know about this Lord Palace, you understand? I'm afraid you're talking to the wrong man. Your son, Prince Lycos, is our commander-in-chief now. No one can do anything without his consent. He's made that very clear. Now that we know just how gullible the enemy is, we can experiment. Lycos, a word, please. I wouldn't be surprised if they fell. Lycos! What is it, Mother? A moment of your time, please. Of course. I'll come and find you as soon as I finish setting the day's agenda. Now. As you can see, I'm very busy. But Kaiman will make sure to remind me to come and look for you. And I don't see why we shouldn't plan some stealth attacks of our own. Something bold, something daring. This is a very dangerous crossing. Genius! Let me go home on my own, and I'll return once I've found the ring. I've saved your life twice, mercenary. Don't you think that now, finally, you should just accept that you're safer with me? And frankly, I don't trust you to find the ring on your own. What? It seems the gods don't want me to find that ring. Gods! Ambushing the enemy at night, like us? It worked, Mother. That's not the point. Morale is returning. Our generals feel confident again. And where does that leave your father? If we make progress, win important victories, and hand him back the army in better shape than he left it, won't he thank us? It's not him I'm worried about. It's his court. If they get the idea they can do better without him, we'll all be in terrible danger. I will protect us, Mother. No one will hurt me. I carry the sacred lexicon. I doubt that even the promise of the lexicon will help you. 
You might win a few battles against King Minos, but believe me, your court, its priests, noblemen, and generals aren't as easy. Respect. 